Um, Pete had asked me to speak to people who have seeds of enlightenment. Um, being a coach for Jedis programs, I hear a lot of the um, the input from people on what's going on, and I think probably one of the biggest things with Jedis course is learning to trust yourself. This is such an internal job, and uh, we have such a sort of perfectionist standard and this performance anxiety in in our culture and. Uh, you know, I think what Jetta helps you do is change from being a human doing to a human being. And to be that being, you need to go inside and really trust what, what, what you're experiencing. Um, the biggest, the one I get probably get the most calls on, well, there's two in, in um, Seeds of Enlightenment. One of them is the energy bodies and the energy centers. And in that context, what you're asked to do is to go through and actually um, sense what's going on. Jetta uses the, the verb to see. Some people are not visual people. They may be kinesthetic. They may feel something. I've even had one lady who heard the energy centers. So I think what you need to remember is these are all just suggestions. And, and even if you feel like you're not getting anything from a particular uh, meditation, just, just continue through, do it three times, do your time alone, and move on. Um, it was neat, um, I just a little aside here. In the, um, I was really shocked at the lady who heard the energy centers. I'd never run across that before. But in the retreat we did this, um, this summer, uh, we started every day with music. And do you remember after she played Beethoven's Ninth? And Jetta said that the beauty of music is it connects directly with the soul. There's no intermediary. It doesn't go through the mind. It's direct experience. So I thought that was such an awesome thing that this lady heard them. I mean, it was just really neat. And uh, another lady, um, she smelled. She smelled the, uh, the duff of uh, the base center, you know, attachment to earth, attachment to Pachamama. And so she smelled the duff of a forest. She actually smelled that, that, earthy, that earthy thing. So I thought that was just so neat. The other thing is that there are a lot of nuances in experience. And we're so, so used to sort of needing a really blatant reminder of what's going on. And this may be very subtle. So I had a really neat conversation last week with a lady um, who was actually using our Effortless Success course. And she was getting very frustrated. She tried, I think it was six times, doing the first meditation in the course, which is about sitting in a movie theater and seeing an image on the screen of, of your, your life purpose and what the next step is. And she said she was getting nothing. She was very frustrated. So I said, well, I wouldn't worry. I would just move on. But, uh, you know, just remember that it may, be, it may be very subtle. So just pay attention to anything that comes up. And she goes, well, actually, I did see some color. I said, oh, how interesting. I said, what color was it? And she said, violet. I said, oh, and uh, w was that static or did it shift or did anything happen? She goes, oh, no, it was moving. It was coming in and out. And then it started spiraling. And it became almost like flowers of a petal. It looked like a morning glory. And I'm thinking, you got nothing right. So I said, um, are you up for any input? And she said, oh, sure. And so I said, well, violet is, is the frequency of the, of the highest energy center in the body, the crown center. You know, are you familiar with that? And she said, no. I said, well, it, it is the highest energy. It has absolutely nothing to do with ego and identity. It's really to do with universal uh, good, universal well-being, and really connecting to the purest form of energy there is. It's, it's bringing in the highest frequency that you could bring in. And I said, and the fact that it's radiating out to me would really suggest that you're ready to do something radically different than what you've been doing, that you want to radiate that violent frequency out to the world. I said, does, does that mean anything to you? And she goes, well, yes, I've been working a traditional job, and I've been um, doing some work with uh, children on self-esteem and, 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 you know, really tuning into what they are and the power that they are. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> You didn't get any out of that meditation, right? And she's actually, so she's going to go on to the next one. I told her I wanted to hear what she gets from the next one. But it, it just shows you, she thought she was getting nothing. And here she is. She spits out what's been happening. And it was just awesome confirmation of where she's going and what she wants to do and probably what she's here to do. So it was just phenomenal. So remember that, that there will be nuances. Like I said, it, it, and, and Jetta is making suggestions. But because this is an experiential course, you know, nobody, that's the beauty, that's the diversity of, of what we can do with this energy. We're all different. And so it could be any, any number of things. So just stay tuned in, accept it for what it is, and move on. It's all okay. Whatever it is, it is absolutely okay. It's all transpiring perfectly. Um, the other thing I come up against is this sense of having to make progress. And I think people get a little frustrated because they have to revisit sometimes. Like trust and surrender is one of the big ones in... in uh, seeds of enlightenment that people revisit and I still revisit that because trust is, is, is a challenge sometimes in this world. Um, you know, you hear something going on that you put a label on and you really need to back up and trust that the process is unfolding as it should. And so remembering that this is a process and this is an experience 
you're not going around in circles. It's an upward, it's an upward spiral. You can never set, step in the same river twice because when you come back to that place that seems familiar, you're a different person. You're bringing in different frequencies. You, you are evolving as, as you flow through the energy and through the course. So please trust the process and it is, it is, it is a growth opportunity. Um, the other thing I always like to reassure people of is SEEDS gives you just this phenomenal framework, this model of existence. And it is very personal, but I will say that I thought SEEDS was great. Embracing freedom blew me away. I mean, embracing freedom is where it all comes home because it's so personal. It's so geared to the obstacles you might face. How do you deepen your practice? How do you really become the sea of awareness, how do you, how do you recognize and, and acknowledge that you are already it. So SEEDS is, is phenomenal. It gives you the framework, it gives, it, it gives you the structure, like I, like I have said, it gave me what I needed to pull a lot of pieces together and make sense. But it's a first step toward this, this greater sense of who you are and of course ultimately infinite grace where you take it to the, the ultimate level. I mean, you can hardly even verbalize what happens in infinite grace. But seeds is just, it's, it's just, oh, it's the start of a beautiful path. I just can't tell you. And, and uh, if you're having any challenges along the way, just please be sure and call. I'd love to talk to you.